Hello and welcome. Recently, I have received a business requirement to allow users to view items to be received on a purchase order using handheld device. That was a great opportunity to explore the use of relatively new features in Dynamics 365 supply chain management, namely detours and data inquiries mobile device menu items. So let's take a look. First, let's begin with configuring mobile device menu item for our purchase order line inquiry. Before we do that, we would need to know the table name behind purchase order lines. I will navigate to accounts payable, open the purchase order that we will be using, and just right click anywhere in the line section, form information, form name, and in here click on administration, and just take a look at the data source. This part represents a table name behind purchase order lines. So this is the table name for which we will create our mobile device menu item. Let's close that. Now let's navigate to mobile device menu items. And here is the menu item I have created. You see the mode is indirect, so that means we are not working with existing work or creating any work. The activity code is data inquiry. We would need to select the table name right here. And that's the one that we just looked at in our purchase order. Next, we would need to define a field list. Click on field list right here. And here I'm adding an item ID, item name, maybe the order quantity from the purchase order line, maybe a unit and any other fields that you feel would be relevant, you can add up to eight fields. And finally, to make it as seamless as possible, part of the query would also include PO line number. And to automate that, I just populated the lines from one to 10 in my edit query. And in here, you see that I've entered one comma, two comma, three, et cetera, up to 10. So this query would show me first 10 lines from a given purchase order. If you have more than 10 lines in your typical purchase order, you can add as many lines as you need. So now we have configured that mobile device menu item. We don't have to add it to the main menu. All we have to do is to make sure that we can call on it using a detour from our PO receiving screen. To do that, we'll navigate to warehouse management, mobile device steps. In here, this is a list of all the screens that exist in our warehousing app interface. And what we need to do here is to search for the one that is calling for the confirm item. And how to know that is if you open your warehousing app interface, navigate to PO receive, enter or scan a PO number, you see that the next screen it takes you to is called scan item. And the system is expecting you to scan or enter item ID or the barcode for that item, right? So that's how you know that the title of that screen where we want to add a shortcut for PO line inquiry is called scan item. And so what I did is I searched for the title that says scan item. This is the screen that it found. And in here, you would need to click on add step configuration. And you would then say, well, I want to add it for a specific menu item. In our case, it is purchase receive. With that in place, we can now see how that shortcut is configured. We did not do any promoted fields here, but we created a detour. Let's just do it once more. I'm gonna remove the existing detour, click on add. In here, we select from an existing list of menu items. Ours is called PO line inquiry. So I'm gonna select it and click on okay. Then we click on select fields to send. So we wanna copy from the PO receive, we wanna copy purchase order and we want to copy it in a purchase order field in our PO line inquiry. And we're going to auto submit. So this way the user does not have to re-enter or re-scan that purchase order number. And then what we want to send back to PO receive is the item ID. So we're going to copy from PO line inquiry item number, and we're going to paste it in the item on our PO receive menu item. And we're also going to do auto submit. So this way user has to just select the item on the screen and it will be pasted back into our receiving menu item. And we're gonna click on okay. So with that in place, we're ready to test. Let's open our receiving menu item, purchase receive. As before, we would enter or scan a PO number. And then the system is expecting me to scan or enter item number. I don't know what item I'm receiving, but I would like to see all items that are on that purchase order. Here's my PO line inquiry detour. I'm gonna click on that. And as you remember, the system will show first 10 purchase order lines from that PO. And the list of those fields was configured by me. So we see the item number here on the top, product name, inventory quantity, unit, and the product name right here. And let's say I want to receive item B, so all I have to do is just click on it. 
and the system pastes item B into my confirm item screen. So now I just have to proceed with normal PO receive flow by entering the quantity, confirming the location, etc. Enter the quantity, let's say one. And we have completed the work. I think detours and data inquiries are great features to be combined to provide ultimate flexibility to warehouse workers for any warehouse management process using the handheld device. That is all for now. I hope you found that video useful. Take care.